With the Cardinals, we first start off with the women led by Robin Harmony. And here's a group 22 wins a year ago, 17 and 1 in the South. And it's hard to believe, even during the days of names like Plumley and Lloyd, never had the Cardinals won an outright South and title until last year. And guess what? So many of the key players from that standout group a year ago back this year looking to possibly repeat for the first time in South and Conference history. Again, joined with Robin Harmony and Coach, you and I were talking about that a moment ago. This is a league where it is hard to win unless you really are uh, all in with seniors. But this year, a lot of returning experience and leadership. Absolutely. It is nice that we do have two seniors and Chastity Bars and Mo Kennard, who are first teamers to help us lead. But we have our freshman of the year, Jada Pinkin, who is you know, getting ready to come help us again. And, you know, we, we have still a, a young group other than those two seniors. And, you know, hopefully they'll show up and play. Uh, it's tough when you do it one year and then you have to turn around and do it back, back to back. So, you know, there's a lot of pressure on them, but hey, that's, that's the way it goes. We talk about Lamar with first for its well-decorated program. You're going to see a lot of offense in these highlights, but Chastity Bars again tied the nation uh, for the record for steals in a season. And she's an individual. I hope some of that's contagious on the team that others want to try to pick up their defense as well with her on the court. Absolutely. I mean, obviously, we hang our hat on defense. We'll press you for 40 minutes. You'll come off that bus, and we'll start pressing you. Uh, you know, that helps Chaz get her cookies. And, you know, that is just what we try to do is get our offense from our defense. And we start in the beginning and they hate it but they learn to love it and if they don't then you know we make them love it it's just we know that's what helps us win games it creates havoc for our opponent it's hard for them to simulate our press even when they try and practice and they have to work on it two three days before they play us so you know we know that we're going to press you we're going to try to get you not to come across the timeline and when you do you're not going to be able to run your offense because you have 15 seconds Along the way, Chastity winds up being the first ever three-time Southland Conference Defensive Player of the Year. Pretty good chance she'll be a favorite to capture it for a fourth time as well. So we talk about what you do have coming back, but I know you're also excited about the depth that this year's team is going to have with the addition of some newcomers. We do. We have three freshmen that we signed, and one of them is already in the starting lineup. Uh, Maya Crump, who is from Houston, uh, from Yates High School, and she's playing the four spot for us, but she can shoot the three, she can take you off the bounce, and she can take it to the rack at any time. So she's going to be a legit new new freshman coming in and then we have a sixth seventh eighth person we don't know where she's at yet but we thought by conference time she'll probably be in our starting lineup with angel hastings from san antonio um you know these two freshmen just are wow type of kids and you know we're, we're just hoping that you know they're going to have the great career that Chaz and mo have had I know a few years ago when you arrived in Lamar to reinvent this program and your image, when you had that non-conference schedule, uh, you were just trying to get through it healthy. But these days, you can put together a challenging schedule like this and believe each and every night that your young women are going to compete. Well, I mean, we wanted to make sure that we got, you know, the Mississippi States and Kansas State and, uh, you know, teams that we could get a chance to see what we can do in the bright lights. Um, you know, our kids probably felt slighted that maybe they didn't get recruited by a Texas A&M, but now they're going to get a chance to play them, show them what they can do. And obviously it is to get prepared for our conference play. Well, we look forward to it again. Lamar looking at the possibility of perhaps for the first time in program history going back to back with the Southland collecting some trophies along the way.